Hey, what's up, guys? So this is my uh, part two of the Orbea Onyx um, review or well uh, update, basically. So as you can see here, I bought a couple of things. I went uh, crazy, <laughs> kind of crazy. I had some money, so I decided well to spend it on my bike. And this is part two, but uh, as you can see everything is just uh, has just arrived uh, and I hope to have it mounted on my bike uh, hopefully in a couple of days uh, this is not the job I'm gonna do uh, this is my first road bike and my first upgrade so uh, I'm gonna take it to the bike shop where I bought my bike and have those guys uh, fix it so we'll, we'll start um, just I'm gonna show you uh, just a quick review on well, that review just gonna show you what I bought and uh, Hopefully you will like it. So first we have the the crank set. This is the Okay, sorry. Maybe I should have started with uh, This is the SRAM apex is the entry level for road bikes uh, So let's just start with the components. This is the crank set is a uh, 54 by 39 and there you go, there you can see it, SRAM Apex, still in the bag. Uh, here's the side lever. And I'm sorry guys, I don't have the tripod for the camera, so... Um, well, hopefully I don't move that much. Or I can get all the shots. Okay, so that's the crank set. Uh, we have the brakes. So I decided to go with uh, SRAM Apex because first of all uh, the others are pretty expensive. Uh, the 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 other um, group sets is the Rival Force and Red. Obviously, I'm not gonna buy a Red for um, I'm I'm a, a beginner, so uh, I'm not gonna spend money that I don't have uh, on those on those group sets. But this is. Uh, I like this because it's the entry level. It feels really solid. Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna earn any weight or lose, sorry, lose any weight. Uh, but, uh, and I also like the fact that they're white, so they match pretty well with my bike. There you go. I really like the details these guys have. So those are the brakes. The levers, uh, I really like the feel. So I have, um, there we go, okay, sorry I'm starting just working with this camera. Okay, so what I currently have is uh, the Shimano Tiagra and these are, well, Shimano, the entry level as you might know is Sora, Tiagra and 105 and upward. Uh, these are compared to the 105, so it's, uh, I'm, I'm leveling up let's say even if they are entry and just by the feel I can say yes this is a much better feel than my current uh, uh, Tiagra so there you go SRAM also my my Tiagra the levels are straight in change um, in contrast these are well this is the right hand side okay yeah this is the left hand side and actually you can grab it a lot better. Uh, the feel is much, much better. And uh, the levers, uh, this is the, the double tap system. So uh, one to go up and two to, low, uh, to go down on the gears. Let's see how that goes when I have them installed. But again, white, I love the combination. SRAM. And the angle of the lever really feels awesome. Okay, we have the front derailleur, not a big deal, also the white uh, metal part here, really nice. Okay, here we have the rear derailleur, okay, maybe, okay. so I have to do this with my one hand. So the big, uh, the big thing about SRAM Apex, and you can read this in the website, is that they came out with uh, this group set because 
they wanted to have a long range of gears so and what is what do I mean a long range of gears if you see there uh, that's the I don't know in English how you call all the the, the gear set the cassette yeah so uh, in in the SRAM Apex they got something that goes uh, that's why why f I don't remember the acronym but basically it's wider faster and lighter and what it means is that they came with a cassette that's 11 by 32 so you get higher uh, or sorry lower gears for when you're climbing however uh, my current gear is uh, 12 by 25 and I, I, I would like to have one more gear to climb here in Costa Rica there are a lot of hills, hills so uh, I didn't buy the 32 this is not the 11 by 32 uh, and that's why the rear derailleur derailleur sorry I, I don't know if I can open it well as you can see here it's uh, it's the short range the one and I had to buy this uh, apart the one that comes uh, standard has a longer uh, is a longer rear derailleur derailleur because it has to reach the 32 uh, the, 11, the 11 by 32 cassette anyway this is I bought the 11 by 28 um, because I was reading a lot of reviews that said that you lose a lot of the ratios in between so and so I went with the 11 by 28 just needed one lower gear for these hills uh, also from the group set as you can see here sorry I'm sitting and I have to do this with one hand so this chain is the the chain of the rival if I'm not mistaken yeah the rival group set uh, it says PC 1051 the the SRAM Apex uh, chain is 1031 and I got this because I was reading many reviews that the the chain that came with Apex uh, wasn't that good so I upgraded to this one uh, let's see okay another upgrade uh, that I did were the cables so uh, before I buy anything I, I read a lot in Google I Google everything and here we have the cables so as you can see these are the cables that came standard with uh, SRAM Apex and I think it was a, a review from a road bike re uh, review.com that said that when they changed cables it was a big difference almost reassembling the higher end group sets from uh, SRAM uh, I wanted to get the core system but was that was too professional for me honestly so again I read I read and came up with this uh, Yokozuna reaction cable system uh, for road they are the shifter and breaker uh, for Shimano and SRAM and the nice thing about this is that uh, it's a combo it's the shifter and the brake cables the the one from Gore I had to buy one for the shifter and one for the uh, brake uh, it was a hundred dollars fifty dollars each pair so and this instead was sixty dollars and I'm not a pro so I don't need those okay so for SRAM okay ah, and one other thing uh, since I'm doing a full upgrade I bought this uh, the SRAM uh, bark tape it's cork uh, not a big deal it was thirty dollars I don't think it's gonna be that good but I really like the design uh, make the lip and I really like the like the I don't know how you call this the, they go at the end of each uh, the, on the holes of the the handlebar and it's pretty cool I like them um, again white so as you can see I'm not uh, obviously I'm not a pro biking but uh, I like well if I had the money I would buy the red but uh, I like that the aesthetic of things so I know the bike you have to ride it but I also honestly I look I like to just look at it and stare at this impressive machine I have 
uh, that it might not be impressive for many people but for me this it's like my baby <laughs> okay so I had uh, the current handlebar that I have right now uh, it's aluminum it's the standard that uh, I got with my bike and I really hate the feeling of it uh, it's heavy and I feel and it's um, I don't know how to explain this but I'm, I'm I feel like when I'm grabbing it I grab I'm grabbing a piece of metal a, a small piece of metal and I don't like that feeling so in eBay I went ahead and started to look at handlebars I first went with integrated handlebars but they are damn pretty expensive so I got I found this uh, it's like 160 bucks carbon uh, handlebar it's made in Taiwan uh, the brand is Merrick uh, they claim to manufacture for uh, Pinarello and uh, and all the great Colnago and whatever and I hope I hope they are um, they keep their word because I would hate to have this break when I'm descending or something uh, the one other thing as you can see here the drops uh, it's supposed to be ergonomic the ones that I have right now are uh, just normal drops and I hate that let's see if I can show you that just gonna do a balance if I can okay I hate it sorry guys I hate it that this part is round and there's a hole in my palm so actually right now if I grab this it's much it feels so much better like I can feel the whole palm of my hand uh, grabbing the bar also it's not round it's kind of flat that's really nice I, I like the feeling and also it has uh, holes for the cables so it, it also looks a lot better uh, right now as you, if you saw my first video the the shifters um, the Shimano Tiagra uh, have the cables hanging from the sides so it's a bunch of cables here okay um, also from this brand I had to buy the stem uh, so it would look something like and I could totally work I would not work at the Cirque du Soleil if I okay so this is the stem it's also from this guy oh my god well it didn't break at least uh, this is the stem it's um, a hundred millimeters the one that I have right now it's uh, 1100 so one size down hope it works because right now I have to stretch my arms a lot also carbon uh, mega the only thing I'm, I'm thinking about I'm gonna have to buy a mount because right now my Sigma rocks 8 will not fit here because of this uh, canal kind of but I really it's so light I I need to to weigh the difference and well, anyway and what else what else what have this is like Christmas but it's not <laughs> okay the saddle the one that I have right now it's a uh, Sella Italia and it's nice but after three hours of pedaling my ass doesn't hurt but it it goes to sleep really bad and I have to move around get up the saddle um, I heard good things I read good things about Selle SMP uh, I this is I I'm crazy for details and uh, you might not know this but I'm Italian and I love the fact that there's a the Italian flag that's I just uh, I love that uh, obviously I'm not gonna put any saddle I've learned to carry everything in my shirt uh, although I bought one uh, a bottle cage that you can attach on the saddle behind so I hope um, I'm just gonna try it's an experiment uh, an experiment that cost me twenty dollars so when that arrives from Amazon I'm gonna try it and anyway uh, at the end of this video uh, I'm gonna show you the whole bike how it's built uh, that's probably in a couple of days anyway this is the cell SMP dynamic I, I sorry my 
Tom got stuck in there. Okay. This is really nice.